we got something so cool, so cool so to show you today. So cool. Unbelievable Harley Quinn statue. Is this your favorite Harley Quinn statue we this have? This is my new favorite Harley Quinn just because it's so detailed. This is the best Harley Quinn statue period. that has been made, period. Period. That isn't $500, $600. Yeah, definitely. This is a more affordable uh, more affordable one. So again, let me let me show you this box real quick, guys, because I think this is such a nice box. It's this beautiful. Is it's so shiny. So this is uh, from Tweeterhead. Now I got a lot to say about Tweeterhead. I will talk about them. I think after the video, because this is a company you guys need to watch if you're a statue collector or want to get into a statue, yeah. but you don't want to throw in like the five hundred dollars for a premium format. Right. This is like half the price and just as good if you don't want something as gigantic or one-fourth scale. So anyways, uh, this is a new line that Tweeterhead's doing. So they've upgraded their company. They've done, they did some stuff in the past that we've got. We got their Batman classic stuff and it's good. We like it. It always felt a little overpriced though. Definitely. They're usually about $250 and it always felt a little overpriced. This, however, I feel like, how did I get that for that amount of money? Yeah, I feel like with this new line, this new design series that they're doing, you're getting more bang for your buck. You really are. Because the, the last lines that they had, they were nice, but they weren't as up to quality as this. Yes, so uh, this is the Superpowers line they're doing, and as you can see, it's in gold, like a gold metallic. It's very shiny. Oh man, I love that foil and everything. It makes Beautiful. me think of that song from uh, Moana. Shiny, I will sparkle like a wealthy woman's neck. Just to say. <laughs> it's so shiny. It is so shiny. You can see the front of it looks absolutely gorgeous. And uh, just, I love, I love it. I love what they've done with the box. I think that is just fantastic. Mm -hmm. Now, when we look on the back of it, it says collect them all. This is the lineup, the series that they're doing. And there's actually more than just this. As you can see, Harley is actually number one in the Superpowers line. And then you got a candor in the, like the little uh, like dome or whatever. And I think that base you buy separately, actually, if I'm oh, not mistaken. Okay. Number three, Mr. Mixit Patalic. I, he's, it's a weird name. I don't know how to exactly say it. Everybody has their way to say it. Uh, but uh, an interesting Superman villain. Number four, Supergirl. She's pretty. I that, love her. That's a nice her. one. I, I think it's a really nice one. Number five, we get into the Paul Harding stuff, the Joker. This one goes along as a counterpart to the Harley. Mm -hmm. Beautiful statue. Yes, Amazing. I have that one on pre order. That I one's going to be in this house. No doubt about it. Number six, Bud and Lou. That one you have to sort of get to go along with the Harley. Oh, definitely. I'm going to buy that one. And then number seven, this amazing, amazing Wonder Woman. Yeah, she's very feminine in her face. She's very pretty. Amazonian too, but right? Th yes, but then she's very buff and just amazing. And there are other ones like um, Superman. A, a great Superman's coming out. And one that I was so excited to see. Martian Manhunter. We are getting yeah. a freaking Martian Manhunter no statue. I'm so, so excited. So anyways, let me get into the statue and show you what we got. Rarely do we get statues that you can hold like a cup. <laughs> like yeah. you're gonna drink it's like it. like a stein. This, honestly, this is one of the greatest statues well, the, I think just, I've ever seen. It's so dynamic and beautiful and the way that the colors flow from the smoke and the dullness of the black, but the brightness of the red. It's just, I love this so much. This is one, honestly, this is one of the greatest statues I've, I've ever seen, especially mm -hmm. with Harley. I yeah. don't think there's a better Harley statue out. Well, and her face is just so beautiful. Beautiful face, uh, just everything. Let me kind of go over it here. Um, it's sort of an interesting statue because it has two different height levels, actually. Yes. And she's tall. She's actually very tall. So you can see how big she is where she has this sort of carnival base on the bottom mm -hmm. of it. But it actually comes with an extension piece, too this one here. So she'll actually sit on top of that extension plate mm -hmm. and make herself even taller. Mm -hmm. So I don't know why they did that to be honest with you and I gotta be um I got one concern with it. The, yeah. the top of it and the bottom of it are both smooth, so it almost feels like it's slide off. Right. Exactly not that was ever. one of my biggest concerns about it because it looks like if this would topple over, it's going to shatter. Yeah, so, so maybe getting some form of uh, double sided tape for that or something some kind of adhesive. would be your best bet. Now, we can't actually sit it on there because I don't have a shelf tall enough for her right, right. now. So uh, she looks better when she's on it. We have to do some revamping. Got a little revamping to do. But getting into the statue, let's just start from the bottom and work our way up. The base is. Awesome. The base is wonderful. I love the little voodoo Batman at the bottom. Yeah, the little it's ball. Just, it's so funny that they put that in there. It's cutesy, right? It's very cute. Very Harley. It's very Harley. That Joker head, though, it's a carnival. I mean, we're looking at right. a wrecked carnival, um, which uh, the Joker statue has the same sort of base, yes. too. So they kind of go along with it. But mm -hmm. the thing I really want to say, besides the sculpt of that clown, that weird clown head and the mm -hmm. fun, 
well, the paint he, app on it yeah, the is paint so app. great. It's got it's like a patina to it. It is. It's got a weird rusty patina to it, mm -hmm. and the floor is even sort of like the the black and like white stripes. Yeah, uh, it, it even says fun on it like a big caramel sign that yeah, fell. Yeah, and it even has the lights. And the yeah, the lights look real. Yeah. They don't light up actually, but they look like they would or well, should. Well, I mean, it's a broken carnival, so it probably shouldn't light up. Beautiful. Now let me talk about the smoke. Mm -hmm. Because she has a rocket pack on, which is weird, you're right? I mean, Harley with a rocket pack on, like, oh, okay, I get it, or whatever. But it looks so cool, the statue. The, that smoke cool. is great. Well, I, mean, I like how the smoke color changes exactly. as it goes up. It's, like, dark at the bottom, which as it should be, and then it gets yellow, and, of course, the bright orange is It's red. like those rocket popsicles, you know, those amazing popsicles mm -hmm. that are going blue. It's like that in flames. It's so awesome. But that's what holds her up. Um, mm -hmm. And very sturdy, too, I'll say. I'll add yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, and with it being clear, you would think that you would see a rod or something through that to ha add the support, yeah, but you really don't Yeah, they've used a very thick resin. And I, honestly, I mean, you can hold it and it won't crack. And this is a great quality statue right. here. This actually has two versions. We have the regular version, but if you ordered it at the Tree Heads website, there's a separate head sculpt. You've got two different options for a head sculpt. If you buy it regularly, her head is just, uh, just a regular head. I mean, just what you'd normally see with a Harley Quinn. If you order the exclusive one, she has goggles on top of her hat. So, nothing gigantic, but as far as the hand goes, it has a, a swap for the hand. What you get with the normal is just her pop gun. Um, when you order the exclusive, you get the pop gun, as well as another hand that holds a doll of Joker, just mm -hmm. like the little Batman movie right. on the bottom. It's Joker. So, really, uh, it's, it's a cool little uh, add-on. Yeah, it's a nice option. The prices are, I think, about the same anyway. Mm -hmm. So, it's either order off Twitter head web website or anywhere else. So, again, when you pull this out of the box, the arm does detach. And if you got the exclusive one, you can change that hand out to where she's holding the Joker. The head also comes apart where you can swap out that portrait. And she just connects to the flame, to the rocket flame. There's just a little peg on the flame that connects into the rocket pack. Very easy. Now, as far as the statue goes, that is a a great skull. Very very sensual. Very um, very sensual. I love how you can see the curvature of her hips, of her back, her spine. I'm gonna everything. say it. I'm gonna say it. Her booty. That's a nice booty right there. I don't care who you are. I don't care if this thing's made of ceramic. <laughs> That's a nice booty skull. <laughs> That's a very nice booty skull. <laughs> But no, I mean, it, it is great. It really is. I mean, they, the, the sculptor got the little mm -hmm. wrinkles in the back of her knee mm -hmm. and uh, even on her hips and yes. just uh, honestly. Even like in the curve of her ribs, everything, you can see the creases in the fabric as you, sh as you should. Yeah, and when you work up to the chest area, you have Harley's, I don't know what you really call it. It's those that neck piece. The collar. Yeah, the, the collar. collar piece, it's got yeah. little balls or whatever on it. But what's cool is she has that backpack that holds that mm -hmm. rocket booster. And that's cool because it sits over that, so you're getting layering in right, it. Right, exactly. Which is always great when you see it on a statue because it makes it feel yeah, uh, more if physical. Yeah, were to put that underneath the color, it wouldn't really work. Yeah. It would look kind of funky. Um, and again, one arm goes out holding her pop gun. That's always fun, Harley with a little pop mm -hmm. gun. But I really dig her other arm with the bomb. Yes. One thing that I noticed about the statue in general, the textures that they've done on this is really where the statue shines. A lot of statues that you get... Uh, they don't put a whole lot of textures, or they feel very manufactured, if right. that makes any sense. They're all the same. When you look at this, and I think the bomb is a great way to uh, display that, when you look up close at this bomb, there are very minute, just small pitting. Mm -hmm. Almost like what you would really see in an actual bomb like that, which right. uh, I'm just a huge fan There's of. There's small imperfections, which is nice. And it looks spray painted boom right. on it. And then the little flame on the top of it, say, little yeah, spark I love flame. The flame. Uh, just a really Even great the addition. rope on it looks like it's braided. Yeah, it, it's it's great. Finally, the face sculpt. A great face sculpt. Absolutely great face sculpt. I love how gleeful she looks. And she looks just, like they, she's in her zone. They captured that expression so well. It makes me wonder if they actually had someone pose for that just so they could get that. It, it's great. It really is. Mm -hmm. And one thing I like about this statue that I don't see in a lot of statues. First off, I think the mouth is done really well. Open mouths are hard to sculpt. Yeah. And you don't see a lot of statues that do a good open mouth. Mm -mm. Because you can get real weird when you start sculpting right. inside the face. But also the eyelashes. They've done something strange with the eyelashes I've never seen on a statue. Oh, they've, they have. they've actually placed a thin piece of plastic or whatever where the eyelash is just a, a thin um, plastic piece mm -hmm. and it sort of sticks so out from the eye. It, yeah. yeah, they didn't just paint it on like it was some eyebrow. And I think that three dimensional yeah. eyelash really adds to the face. These are limited, but I don't know the number of them because we don't actually have a number on the bottom of it. Just as Harley Quinn cold cast porcelain maquette from Tweeter Head. And then the other base has nothing on the bottom of it. It's just flat black. Uh, nothing to see here, kids. So yeah, that is the Tweeter Head Harley Quinn statue. I think, honestly, 
maybe the best Harley Quinn statue on the market right now. Uh, I honestly think it's even better than the original Harley sideshow. This compared to my Harley Quinn bombshell, it, it's it's a difficult decision between which one I like the most because they're both kind of up there for me. Mm -hmm. But this one for the price, I really enjoy. It. Like bombshells, they're like hundred bucks. You can't really beat yeah, that. Yeah, and even the deluxe one you got, that I think it was like one hundred fifty. Right. Great price, amazing great, great statue. Price. This one's more. This is this something just, you got to pull your you got to pull yeah. your wallet out and be like, Ugh. this one just has but, so much more detail in it. And it's so dynamic, is which I, I just love this. Basically, what we're saying is, if you're looking for, you got the extra cash, right? You're like, okay, look, I got two, three hundred dollars to spend on something really, really amazing. I want a statue, but maybe you're like, but I can't see myself dropping five or six hundred dollars on a premium format or something right. bigger. This is it. This is the statue to get. Definitely. If you if you got the bombshells and you're looking to work your way up one more. I would still say stick with the Bombshell Harley because oh, I sure. think the price is amazing and you get well, a great quality statue. The Bombshell but, Harley is really expensive now because it's... Well, it's no, the Deluxe. The Deluxe, the deluxe yeah, yeah, yeah. $150. It's oh, I thought one. you meant the original one. No, that one's gone. I was gonna say, that yeah. one's going to be like 800 bucks right now. But again, if you're looking for one that's more expensive and you got the money, right. this is it. I'm telling this you. This is it. Tweeterhead is, is upgrading. They're leveling up on their sculpts. And a lot of this is because they've hired new sculptors. Mm -hmm. and so like I said, Paul Harding has got into some of this right. uh, with Martian Manhunter and Joker. Uh, they just have, I don't know what happened with Tweeterhead. I've seen Tweeterhead a lot of years, and I mm -hmm. thought their stuff was always pretty good, but I always thought it was overpriced. Like I said, I mean, we have some of the classic Batman stuff. I know you've seen it in the back drop before. Right. Um, I'll throw a picture up in case you haven't seen them before, but these were $250 as well. And I always, I wanted them, and but I didn't really feel good about mm -hmm. the cost. I remember when you first got one, you were like, oh. I feel like I just wasted money. Yeah, because they were really cool, mm -hmm. but they weren't $250 cool. No. This is $300 cool. Is... I can't even express how much I love the statue. Uh, just great. Honestly, guys, this is so cool. So, that's all I want to say. I guess that's what we're going to do. <laughs> we're so, just going to say it's awesome. It's we love awesome. it. It's you amazing. Get it. Great statue. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, so that was it. If this looks like a statue you guys might want, we'll put links down below. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.